Coffee, coffee is my best friend. I just realized I need more friends. <laughs> Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a bit different because we are talking about things I no longer buy. So yes, this is not an organizing tips, inspirational type of video. Even though it's somewhat connected to organizing, it's really about trying to be less wasteful. So because I come across a lot of individuals who are getting rid of stuff, therefore waste, I've learned over years how I too have a lot of waste. There are a lot of things that I have purchased in my past that I no longer need, I no longer buy, I no longer use. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys or tell you guys what those things are. At the end of the day, these are just things I no longer buy. I understand that everyone cannot become sustainable or less wasteful. It all depends on your demographics, um, where you live, your finances, how much money you have. A lot of these things come into play when it comes to being more sustainable. But hopefully some of the items that I mentioned can help you become less wasteful or be more sustainable or at least give you an idea on what you can do on your part. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So number one is disposable K-cups. When I first got my Keurig, I was in love with the idea of buying different flavored coffee and having a different flavor coffee every single day. <sighs> the idea of that just seems so great. To be honest, there was only like one K-cup flavor that I really liked. Everything else was nasty. It just didn't taste good and they ended up being wasted. So thankfully, my fiance introduced me to reusable K-cups, which have changed my life. I now drink the coffee that I love from my favorite cafe and I use my reusable K-cups to refill or to create or to brew me coffee. That's yeah, brew me coffee. I love it. I love it. I will never go back to K-Cups. If I do want to try another coffee, I'll just buy some coffee grounds and try it. But other than that, K-Cups are super wasteful. I was drinking like three K-Cups a day. It was just, it just didn't make sense to me. So yeah, reusable K-Cups are legit, are the way, and disposable K-Cups are just trash for me. So the next thing on my list are fragranced plugins. So I am someone who loves the idea of my home smelling like fresh flowers, fresh berries, like, you know, just this like burst of scent, good scent that is. And I realized over time how expensive that can be. Plugins last about 30 days. Honestly, they only last about 15 days in my home because I had them on the highest setting. And a lot of times we're just smelling all these toxins and yeah, it just didn't make sense. And after the fragrance was done, I would throw away the fragrance, put another one, and I would just spend so much money on these plugins. And I finally just decided to stop. I do have two diffusers in my home that burn or that exude, I don't know, essential oils. And I have really been loving them. They give me fresh, they give me pure, they give me just natural scents, and I love it. So definitely fragrance plugins are a no-go. So the next items on my list are plastic Tupperware. I have done a video on three simple ways to organize your Tupperware and I kind of introduced me using glass containers, glass Tupperware, if you will, um, instead and I absolutely love it. It has just made cooking, it has made meal prepping so much easier because when you spend money on glass containers you're more likely not to lose them. You know, plastic Tupperware is very easy to buy. They come in mass quantities. And a lot of times we just don't pay a lot of attention to them, which is why a lot of times we are missing lids, we're missing bases, we just don't know where they go. When it comes to glass containers, that is completely different because not only are you spending more money and a lot of times they're better quality, you are just more likely to wanna to keep them up to take care of them. And for me, I have done, I and for me, they have just transformed how I do a lot of things, how I put away food, how I warm up food, how I, how I transport food, and I just love it. Yeah, I would never turn back. I don't like the idea of warming up plastic with my food. And you know, because Tupperware is so cheap, we waste them all the time just to go buy more and waste those. And because I'm trying to be more sustainable in my life, plastic Tupperware just doesn't fit into that. So the next item on my list are plastic water bottles. 
I stopped using plastic water bottles about three years ago. We just completely stopped buying them. Yes, they're great when you have parties. Yes, they're very easily accessible and you can just grab it and go, but I just don't like the idea of wasting all these plastic bottles. Yes, they can be recycled, but honestly, everything that's recycled isn't always recycled. If you do your research on that, you'll find out the truth about a lot of these recycling centers. But outside of that, I just don't like the idea of drinking my water from a plastic bottle. A lot of times these, when these bottles are warm, the plastic melts into your water and you're drinking plastic. That is for another video. We have sustainable water bottles that we've purchased and if we do want water in a water bottle, we just fill those up. But for the most part, we just use our cups. We have a refrigerator that dispenses water and we just get our water that way. Very easy. <laughs> so next are sunglasses. I no longer buy sunglasses. I purchased my first luxury sunglasses about five years ago and I still own those. Those are the only sunglasses I use. Back in the days, I used to always buy sunglasses because they were so cheap. I would buy two for 20, sometimes five for 20. I mean, I would spend money on sunglasses and because they were so cheap, I never took care of them. Each time I would lose them, I wouldn't care because I had more or I would just go out and buy some more cheap ones. The sunglasses I have now from Ray-Ban, I spent about $150 on them five years ago and I still own them. If they do mess up, I just take them in to get repaired. And yeah, I mean, honestly, I've noticed for me, when I spend more money on items, I'm more likely to take care of them than if I spend no money or less money on them. So sunglasses for me, are one of those things that if I'm gonna buy more, I'm gonna make sure that they are high quality sunglasses. I'm, I will no longer buy cheap sunglasses, but as of now, I'm gonna keep loving my sunglasses. I'm gonna keep taking care of them and yeah. Next on my list is body spray. Back in the days, body spray was a thing. If you're like me, each time Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works had a sale, I was front and center getting six 10 body sprays. Why did I buy so much? I remember when I finally stopped, I started to realize that the body spray never lasted because it is alcohol-based. Alcohol-based sprays don't last long because they just absorb and the scent is gone. And yeah, I just stopped buying them. My goal now is to purchase more quality perfumes. I do still love the idea of smelling good, but I rather spend money on a quality perfume than just waste my money on cheap perfumes or body spray. To me, it just doesn't make sense. So yeah, body sprays are a thing of the past for me. Trash. No, they're not trash. If you have body sprays, I get it. But for me, I just don't see the point. Next on my list are real flowers. Ah! Okay, so I'm someone who loves flowers. I've always loved flowers for any holiday, but I have realized that flowers don't last long enough. Flowers die after a week, sometimes even two weeks. I know they do have like the one year long flowers, but I'm not spending $100 on flowers. I just don't see the point. And for someone like me to say that, it took a lot for me to come to that conclusion. I honestly am starting to look into faux flowers, the real looking flowers, because they just to me look so beautiful and they last for as long as you take care of them. So yeah, if I do choose to get flowers in my home, they're more likely going to be faux flowers. But until then, I do have plants. As you can see, I have my new plants behind me, but I love the idea of having plants. I did go full force in buying plants and then a lot of them died. So I slowed down on buying plants. And as long as I can take care of them and keep them alive for a while, then I buy a new plant. So yeah, love plants going to start looking into buying faux flowers so i'm so excited for that journey it's not an easy journey it's not as easy as i thought it would be because you want to make sure that you get good quality faux flowers and not like the fake or cheap looking ones so yeah if you know of any faux flower company let me know in the comment section below i definitely love to take a look at them next on my list are duplicate items being someone who's an organizer i don't see the point in having duplicate items and what i mean by that is like two of the same wooden spoons, two can openers, you know what I mean? Especially if they do the same job. I have come across too many individuals who have five of the same item, six of the same item, 
and they still have a reason to hold on to them. So for me, when I see that, I self-reflect and I start to go through my items to make sure that I don't do that. That's a great thing about my career. I get to see what people do and then try not to do that. And I'm talking about when it comes to clutter, because again, I come across so much clutter with which equates to waste. And if I can minimize that in my own life, I definitely will. So the next items on my list are disposable dishes and cutlery. We love hosting parties. We love having people over. That's just, we just love that. So I understand how having disposable cutlery and dishes would make the process of having parties easy, but I have realized that it's extremely wasteful. The parties we used to have before, we would be throwing away so many dishes and cups and oh, it just made me like cringe and feel bad. So now we no longer do that. So last year, what I did was I purchased plastic plates and plastic bowls from Target and they are perfect, they're minimal, they are so beautiful to me and to me they just do the job whenever the party's over, I just throw them in the dish. <laughs> whenever our party's over, I throw them in the dishwasher and they're clean, very simple. Yeah, so we do have some disposable cutlery and dishes with us now, but once those are gone, I will no longer be purchasing them in my home. So the next thing on my list are items on sale. I used to be one who used to love a sale. I love a good sale. Tell me about a good sale because I'm going to buy some things. And then I realized that all the items that I usually purchased on sale are items I never really loved. They would just sit in my closet. They would just sit in my home and never get used. Now I shop with a purpose. I shop according to what I want, what I need, and not just because something's on sale. Of course, if the item that I'm shopping for is on sale, that's another thing. But for the most part, I don't shop because items are on sale or because there's a sale going on. I shop because I need or want something. And if it's on sale, then that's a win-win. But if it's not, I'll still buy it. The next item on my list is cheap jewelry. Whew. So the only jewelry that I usually have on is my engagement ring. I love the idea of wearing minimal jewelry. I have purchased minimal jewelry in the past, but they've been really cheap and I no longer have them. So because, because they're so cheap, I just kind of throw them everywhere. I lose them and I just don't care because I didn't spend anything on them. So now I'm being more conscious. So if I do see a piece that I like, I will definitely buy it only if it's quality. I make sure I read what it's made of. I make sure that it is a good, I just make sure it's a good quality piece. Just because I say cheap doesn't mean that it has to be expensive. But what I mean by that is like the really cheap costume jewelry that you buy from a lot of stores. I no longer purchase those anymore because I lose them. I don't take care of them. And the only jewelry that I actually do take care of are the ones that I've spent some type of money on because I'm more likely just to just care for those because they're more, they're better quality and I spend money on them. So I'm going to take care of them than I would the really cheap jewelry that I've purchased in the past. Hopefully that makes sense. So the next item on my list is regular deodorant. So what I mean by that is I no longer wear like the commercial, the popular deodorants that we all have used. I now wear natural deodorant. Very soon I will be launching a video showing me trying on different natural deodorants, some that I've used in the past and some that I haven't used at all. I'm super excited about this video because, oh, growing up, BO was an issue for me, I'm gonna be very honest, and commercial deodorants or just the more popular deodorants or the store, drugstore brand deodorants, not brand, but you know, the deodorants like in the Walgreens and everywhere else just didn't work for me. Um, never worked for me, antiperspirant, anything. It just never worked for me. So when I transitioned into natural deodorant years ago, I started to find deodorants that actually worked for me. So I will be launching a video about natural deodorants in a few weeks. So definitely be on the lookout for that. So regular deodorant just isn't for me. Uh, they just don't work on me. They have a lot of toxins, harsh chemicals in them. And personally, I just don't feel the need to use that type of deodorant on my body. So the next items on my list, are disposable pads and tampons. I am someone who, I'm a pad girl, let me be honest. I would use tampons here and there, but pads were my thing. I know, diaper. But over some time, I've realized how much I waste, both when it comes to the plastic that's around the pad and the actual pad itself, extremely wasteful. 
Trust me, I know. A lot of times I was going for ease than anything else, but now I'm very happy that I'm making that transition into the menstrual cup and cloth pads. I can't even believe that I'm saying this because the idea of sticking a cup in my vagina is something that I just never thought I would be doing, but I understand the benefits, which is why I'm doing it. I recently purchased my first menstrual cup, which is coming soon. I'm so excited about it. Hopefully it comes before my next period. And whew, I'm excited. I'm scared because it looks super big, but I'm excited because I no longer have to buy pads anymore. Whew. So yeah, I am excited about that. If you guys are interested in following me in my menstrual cup journey, let me know in the comment section below. Even if you don't let me know in the comment section below, I may still create a video on it, honestly. <laughs> yeah. So anywho, so yeah, I'm super excited to try the menstrual cup. I'm super excited to try uh, cloth pads and yeah, that's my life now. <laughs> so the next thing on my list that I no longer buy or even own are plastic bags. I no longer accept or take plastic bags with me when I go grocery shopping, when I go shopping, shopping, clothes shopping that is. I use cloth bags, I use reusable bags, and honestly, it has made my home so much more cleaner. I am so sick and tired of bringing home plastic bags. Everything about plastic bags is horrible. And I do understand that for a lot of us, it is just easy. So I am not condemning anyone who still uses plastic bags. I still use the plastic bag I have in my home. But what I'm saying is if I no longer take them home, I no longer, um, yeah, I use my reusable bag and it just works perfectly for me. I do understand that plastic bags also work differently in our spaces. They are great for trash. They're great for hair coverings. They're great for uh, scooping up dog poop. I do understand the benefits of having plastic bags. The truth is they're just not the greatest for our environment. So if I can be sustainable in that aspect, I'm definitely going to do that. So the next item on my list are takeaway coffee cups. I am someone who loves coffee. I love coffee. A girl loves coffee. And I no longer take away cups. So if I'm going to Starbucks, if I'm going to my favorite cafe, I bring my cup and I have them refill it. Or if I'm going to a cafe, I use their own mug. I used to be someone who always asked for disposable or takeaway cups, but I no longer do that. I mean, I can't now since we're in quarantine, but I either would opt for the mugs that they had or I would just bring my own tumbler. So this next one is very interesting. I no longer buy planners. About two years ago, I bought my first luxury planner cover. Here it is from Louis Vuitton. Love it because it uses these type of rings. You can just buy inserts, you can create your own inserts and just use it or, and change it up every year. That's basically what I do. I don't see the point in me buying planners every year. It's just so wasteful. Um, I would suggest buying a planner that allows you to add inserts and then you just change the inserts every year, every month, however many times you need to change it. And yeah, you just are more sustainable, you're less wasteful and when you, if you buy a plan and if you buy a planner that you really love, there's no point in replacing it, in my opinion. So next on my list are disposable straws. I no longer buy disposable straws. I love the idea of using straws, but I know how horrible it is. I when I was when we were going to restaurants, I no longer use straws. I would just take the chances and put my lips on the cup. I'm okay with that. But so yeah, I don't buy disposable straws. We do have reusable straws and metal straws that we use. We also have plastic straws that we just reuse all the time and it just works great. <laughs> the next item on my list is mouthwash. We stopped buying mouthwash years ago when we started to understand the truth about mouthwash. But other than that, if you're brushing your teeth regularly, if you're flossing regularly, if you're brushing your tongue regularly, you no longer need to use mouthwash. Mouthwash is just alcohol that makes you feel like your breath is fresher, but really it isn't, it doesn't last long enough. And honestly, I just, it's just a waste of money to me. You can always create your own natural mouthwash. I know 
oil pulling is a great way to clean your mouth. And there's other ways you can create homemade mouthwash. I just don't see the point in buying them. It doesn't make your teeth cleaner or your breath fresher. So that's pointless to me. But if you use mouthwash, that's okay. <laughs> so the next item on my list is contraceptive or birth control. I have used birth control for about five years now. I know. With that said, I am not telling you to not use birth control. If you need to use birth control, contraceptive, you do that, please. But for me, I kind of understand my body. I know five years, haven't got pregnant. Don't use condoms. I do understand my body. I do know when I should and shouldn't have sex <laughs> when I'm ovulated and I'm talking about to, tr to prevent having babies. So yeah, I don't use contraceptives. I haven't used them in years. When I used to be on birth control, mood would change, acne, I would gain weight. It was just horribleness for me. It, was, it wasn't good. After I got off of birth control, my life has been much happier. So yeah, again, it is very important to use contraceptives if you don't wanna have children. So I am not telling you not to use contraceptives. I'm just saying what they used to do for me was never good and I just no longer use them anymore. And the last item I just no longer buy, and honestly, this is probably my favorite one, is I no longer buy physical gifts for people. I rather buy experiences. So I am someone who, again, sees a lot of clutter and I see a lot of people waste stuff. And if I can at least practice not giving people gifts that a lot of times they don't want, I will practice that. So I'd rather ask them, what would you like to do? I'd rather give them an experience because I feel like experiences are what last the longest than physical gifts. I'm no longer playing the guessing game. I'm no longer buying something that I think someone will like. It is either an experience or it's a physical gift that they actually really want. But honestly, I really don't want to buy anyone a physical gift. It's all about experiences. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. These are just 20 things I no longer buy. There are many other items I no longer buy, but I wanted to keep this video as short as possible and just name 20 things I no longer buy or use. So I hope this video at least brings you some insight on things that you can possibly let go of, no longer buy, no longer use. And if you're someone who's looking to be more sustainable, hopefully this video helps you in that journey. So let me know in the comment section below, which of the items I mentioned in this video have you already stopped buying or stopped owning? Let me know below. Oh, you already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye.